Oh, I don't need to press stop recording here, just here. Okay. Right, ready? Yep, recording. Cool. Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Reese here from More Than Lifting. This is a More Than Lifting podcast. Woo! With uh, myself and good friend Slash soon like well we'll talk about it later my mate his name's coach Thatch, and he's here too don't say hi chris hello 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 everything all right yeah everything's fantastic mate um having a nice strong end to this year it's all been pretty crazy the last few months um myself and and for you i know uh, hence the uh, the gap between episodes but um it's yeah. <laughs> we weren't yeah. going to talk about that <laughs> <laughs> after a, a fair few uh, well, I say a few months of, of various different challenges, a lot of positive stuff that's come of which it's um, it's nice to be kind of coming into the year on a good positive wave. So yeah, feeling good, mate. Feeling good. How about you? Yeah, yeah. Um, like uh, it's been, it's been as you say, it's been just busy, busy. Everyone, we we've both been really busy, haven't we? Like with everything, and uh, so yeah. That's a poor excuse, but uh, I, it's good. I'm getting loads of shit done for the site. We've got loads of stuff coming up, which is what we're going to talk about, really, um, in this episode. And we're going to kind of give you a bit of news about us, uh, what, what's coming up, what's going on, what's changing uh, over the next year with the with the podcast, the website, and uh, just in general with Chris, really, because I'm interested in what he's up to. <laughs> I'm not changing that much, mate, but uh, yeah, a few alterations along the way, which that, inevitably that changes every ourselves. six months, doesn't it? Every six months, life changes. You're either changing with it or you're stagnant. It feels about every six weeks at the moment, to be honest, but uh, <laughs> every six days, something new is coming up. Yeah. Well, that's good. You know what I mean? Stuff, that means stuff's happening, stuff's rolling. So. Yeah, it wouldn't have it any other way. Sorry, I'm just riding my, my levels a little bit at the minute, but I think we're okay. I've got it on negative 44. <laughs> and I'm still clipping. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so wicked, wicked times. So yeah, basically, we're saying goodbye to Chris. That like, not really no. goodbye to Chris, but um, it's we, we are, we are kind of, aren't we? We're we're going to be changing the format of the podcast going forward a little bit, and um, we're going to be shortening it. We're not going to be sitting here rambling for so long. We're going to have shorter episodes, and I'm going to be doing a lot more of them as well. And uh, but that's undecided the exact schedule so far. I don't want to commit to something and then balls it up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so basically, Chris is too busy to spend time with me, which is a good a good thing. You know, it's a good problem to have, Chris. And uh, and so I'll let you off. <laughs> well, I think in You're... fairness, um, and not trying to defend that because yes, I am busy as as most people are, and I think that's something that everyone can empathise with. Is that you start projects and you start out on one particular path, and then by virtue of following that path, new opportunities, other things come up, other demands of your time. Life is hopefully moving forward and moving forward in a positive fashion for all of us in, in one way, shape or form if you're trying to engineer it that way. And yeah, that inevitably, you know, certain conflicts come up, certain restrictions, limitations, um, all be them good ones, the impact on what was your prior schedules and routines and things like that. So um, I think as we've just found, as we talked on just before this call, both of us now have slightly more conflicting schedules with each other's than we we had previously so it's made life a little bit more difficult to to get together and chat obviously though we will still make as much effort as we can to do that because while this show will one man banter more... is terrible isn't it one man banter yeah man but I while, uh, yeah, while this show is going to become a bit more of a one man show I do hope to come back on it fairly frequently and share whatever little wisdom and knowledge bombs I've acquired along the way in the interim period rather than me having to repeat the same old stuff week in week out hopefully I can come back with some fresh new exciting ideas and and be one of hopefully a few different guests that you have on the show yeah 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 Uh, hopefully that's going to be happening soon as well um, awesome. But yeah, uh, you're the one who comes up with all the one-liners anyway, all the good quotes in the intros are are criticisms are thatchisms (laughs) I think that's just how you edit it you just <laughs> anything, anything that mugs you off a little bit, you cut it out. But me, I'm fair game. No, you're you're <laughs> no. Nah, it just isn't true. It just isn't. I'm too serious. That's the problem. Serious, <laughs> Reese. That's what they call me around here. I am gonna be a little bit jealous. I think, if I'm being honest, the first time I hear you sharing the uh, the show with with another guest, with another voice, I think there'll be a little part of me that feels tiny. You know, very proud and very 
happy for you because we started this journey together and uh, you know it'll be nice to see how the show evolves in spite of me but uh, yeah there'll be that uh, little moment that you know I hear it for the first time and think you know should be me man should have been me should have been me I should have cleared my schedule <laughs> you'd be kicking yourself it's only going to be my mates though it's only going to be fine. that but I think there's well, yeah. you know there's so much opportunity for for podcasts now to evolve or away from the certainly for new shows and young shows like this one to evolve away from trying to interview the big names and you know the the people that have done the rounds and are constantly coming back around on every other podcast you know hearing from you know fresh new exciting people or even just everyday people about their challenges particularly with things like training because 99% of the people that listen to this podcast and my podcast as well are people who are either starting out on a particular journey relevant to the, the information and the subject matter on the podcast. Um, and really, you know, it's great to hear from the people at the elite end. And I think we've talked about this before. It's also, if not more so enjoyable hearing from people going through the same struggles and battles as you are right now. Not this was me five years ago. This was me 10 years ago. This is me right now trying to learn how to do a handstand. This is me right now trying to learn how to you know achieve a good back squat or a clean a jerk a you know a snatch or even just how i'm trying to lose a few pounds whatever it is it's a a bit more identifiable with people that are kind of in the same area and at the same time in the journey as they are rather than people who've been there done that and and got the t-shirt and now telling everyone how wonderful the process was yeah yeah because it's always hard yeah even though it is fun and that's that's like one of the things I find with the old body weight training is that it is fun even when it's challenging. And like at least the problems you're having are like, oh, I'm really struggling getting my planche. And it's not like, I wish I could bench press or something like that. It's a bit more, I think they're better goals. But I am biased, yeah. so. No, but it's like. Why are you looking uh, at me like that? We're doing, a, we're doing video calls, by the way, guys. So like, I'm not, I'm not used to looking at Chris the whole time. That's true. You uh, can't so now see, I the see all the crazy expressions he's, uh, when I say something stupid. I see all the crazy expressions he makes. Like, did he just say cunt? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that easily offended, but yeah, no, I think I well, you said it before. Like when we talked about uh, training partners, you know, you get so much satisfaction out of working with someone at the same level as you. I mean, it's great learning from a coach, a mentor, someone who's been there, done it, is more experienced, and is passing that knowledge back down. But being around people at the same level as you, your peers, your contemporaries, you know, your equals in, in some respect, there's such an energy that comes from that. It's why group exercise works. It's why training partners work. You know, if you're always just training and learning from someone who's 10, 20, 30 steps ahead of you, it's not quite as inspiring as going through and sharing the journey of, of progression and change with someone at the same sort of level. So likewise on a podcast, you know, hearing from the people that are in the trenches right now doing and developing the same way that you are i think that's really really powerful so i think more normal everyday people you know going through their own struggles right now and start interviewing people around the supermarket like so what do you reckon about about handstands they'll be like "Ooh, well uh, i don't know why it's an old lady that's my old lady voice i'm not doing it again (laughs) sound it sounding more like your spooky ghost voice but okay yeah, I didn't really, I didn't really say much because I interrupted myself. <laughs> so um, I'm glad. So, so Colin, we've uh, we've talked about changes to the show. What's been going on with you? What is going to be going on with you? I think you should start laying out some uh, ideas for people about what your uh, your journey ahead is looking like for the next, well, hopefully next year, but you know, next few months at least. So I think uh, immediately I'm going to start uh, putting out podcasts. Like uh, t- I'm going to start with twice a week or three times a week. And uh, they're going to be short. It's mostly going to be me rambling. And uh, so you might want to do, just like listen to every said, other I'm one. I'm not going to commit to a schedule. Just every other one, you should be fine. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but they're going to be short to the point. And uh, it's, it's really about getting what, what you want to hear, like the actual answers to your questions and stuff like that. Because uh, I get loads. So I might as well give everyone an answer rather than an individual and uh, I just think that'll help help a lot and it help uh, me just because I'll be able to get them out and just like I say get straight to the point 
and uh, for you guys to actually just get what you want and uh, forget about me and Chris chatting shit all the time. <laughs> but we will do it once a month or twice, twice a month just for fun times. Yeah, and like I said, it'd be nice to have, I mean, we can always then do a bit more of a long form one just to, to yeah, break it just up. To, and... just to, Chris is back. Volume three. Chris is back. Uh, number 16. <laughs> you know I mean? We'll have your own little mini series on the podcast of hour and a half long episodes where we just sit on the sofa on Skype. Well, I think it'd be nice to, to be forced because I'm only doing one every now and then to actually be even more concise with subject matter. So if, you know, I'm reading X amount of papers and books and different things a week, you know, bringing the best of, of those things to an episode, you know, some really good, hard-hitting stuff with a little bit of waffle as well because you've got to have the banter. But, you know, really trying to, to drill in on some some key points, which would be nice as well because long form's great, but if it's 80% nonsense and waffle and only 20% content and information, then that's going to get a bit bit tiring. Yeah. I, I'll, make, I'll make a promise There's to you now. There's a lot of I'll jokes and... to come up with in that time, isn't there? Yeah. There's a lot of jokes. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. So I'll make a promise you now that when I do come back on for whatever my next episode will be and, and ongoing, I'll make sure it's uh, a little bit more focused, a little bit more planned. Well, there you go, planned. Just actually planned. be organised. Have an idea. Strategic and strategic. Word for, yeah, word for 2018, that is planned. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite good at planning. The problem is the execution. Like, I'm mm. great. At, I can... I can everything that I need to do, I can imagine that and I can put it on the list and then I'm like, yeah, that's a great list. And that's it. <laughs> I'll never look at it again. So Yeah, no, I, I think a lot I think I can suffer from that quite a bit as well. And what's I been interesting everyone. actually is the last few months, because of being aware of that, everything has been more about action. There's been less of a plan, like training is a perfect example. I kind of threw the program out the window and I've always been a, a program guy. I've always needed a plan, but I've had some of the greatest improvements, not just in, in strength, but also like in physique and appearance in the last, I don't know, three or four months than I probably have for the last 10 years. And it was without a plan. It was without a diet. It was out without anything overly stressed and, and meticulously organized. It was just, I'm going to do what feels good. I'm going to walk into the gym and do what I feel like I want to do today. And... I'm going to eat how I want to eat, and that's cool. And all of a sudden, that alleviated a lot of stress, and, and things suddenly started improving exponentially compared to how they had done previously. It's been more about action. The, the downside to that, as that has sort of transcended out into other aspects of my life, business and what, it means I've made some wonderful progress. You know, I've been throwing myself headfirst into so many things, but then I got to this point where I was like, oh, or now I'm doing things without an actual strategy and without an actual plan, and that would probably be useful right about now. There's only again, it's it's that yin and yang, isn't it? It's you know the awareness and action balance. It's you can kind of go all in on one for a certain amount of time before actually you need to step it back over to the other side a little and go back to the planning phase and then back into action and then back into planning and so on and so forth, rather than just living in one extreme all the time. It's just knowing when to do that and ideally anticipating it a little bit as well yeah yeah i think well yeah a bit having it anticipated that's important as well knowing well i'm going to do it i'm not going to do it i'm going to go do whatever i like or i'm going to focus and have a strategy speaking of programs though we've got the uh 12 week program i'm basically doing like a big group start for the start of the year just to uh Everyone wants to get fit. Everyone gets uh, nice and fat over Christmas. I'm looking forward to getting fat over Christmas. I don't know about you, but you're definitely. Uh, and, if I uh, could, mate, I would, but, you know. <laughs> and, yeah, so basically first uh, first day of 2018 we're starting. I think it's like a Sunday or a Monday. Everyone's going to be hungover, but we're going to be doing it anyway. And uh, start saying, if you want to sign up, go to um, morethanlifting.com slash 2018. And that'll be it. It'll just be a little form. You can pop your email in. You can sign up, and we'll we'll worry about everything else closer to the starting point. <laughs> Sounds but, awesome. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's it. Just to get on the uh, get on the waiting list for that, then by all means go to morethanlifting.com/slash/2018, and that's a twelve-week program. That's everything we're going to cover: strength, skills, getting started. I'm going to take you through everything. It's really cool. 
Uh, I've had a couple of people go through that great feedback. And uh, yeah, so that's happening. That's going to be pretty exciting. And actually, also coming up, but not so immediately, is uh, some dedicated kind of courses and programs for different skills like handstand that's top of the list got a handstand course coming early next year which i'm really looking forward to getting out because i've spent so much time working on it getting it right figuring out how to take people through the process based on different clients and people that i've worked with what's the best way of taking you through that process of learning something that isn't really like strength based necessarily but very technical skill like a like a handstand you know so awesome. loads of stuff happening basically next year, which is going to be pretty exciting. Nice, pleased to hear it. Yeah, yeah, it's been uh, it's been a lot of work kind of going into it, but we're in a good place with everything, and I'm uh, just well excited about getting it out to everyone rather than just having a couple of people working on stuff with me, which is fun, but loads of people is more fun in it. Yeah, I think I think both you and I have gone through a similar process this year of you know lots of technical work lots of setting things up lots of you know putting things in motion and yeah i again i can't see a way personally speaking how things could have moved any faster and i think it just seems appropriate that i'm now with same as you with the new year and it being a key time to really kind of speak to people because they're much more open to the idea of making really positive change you know getting more in tune with their bodies whether that's in response to what happens over Christmas and the holiday period or whether it's just because it's the new year and that's the automatic switch that kind of fires on for for every human, you and I included. Either way, it just feels like there's a degree of, I don't know, call it opportunity, call it fate, serendipity, whatever, that it's now that, you know, I know you're really ready to go big with everything you've been working on the last few months and and I'm in the same sort of position as well with, with some new programs and new projects that I've got launching. So, um, yeah, it's exciting times. Yeah, yeah. That sounds good, mate. It's all positive, isn't it? And well, uh, mate, like mate, you say, it, it does take we... time. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. Good. You want it just to be all sorted, all done, and that's it. But you have to go through the process with it a lot of the time. There is that kind of learning curve. There is that kind of the action curve as well, which is like the learning curve, but it happens a lot later on. <laughs> Well, especially in this day and age where so much is reliant on technology and you understanding and being able to make technology work how you want it to work. Um, you know, even simple things like creating, you know, email sequences and, and whatnot, you know, to make sure you're getting the right information out to people in the right order at the right time. It's just time consuming. You know, it just takes a lot of hours to get this stuff right and do it how you want it to do. So, yeah, I'm glad it's... Uh, I mean, this stuff's ongoing, but, you know, sometimes you have a period where you just have to work on the bulk of it. And, uh, yeah, it's like competition prep, isn't it? You know, you get nearer the time and everything just ramps up and ramps up and it feels like you're having to work more and train more and drill down all the details. And, yeah, then then it lands and you're like, all right, I'm, I'm there. But the preparation <laughs> and the training never ends. No, 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 now the next competition, now the next exercise. <laughs> Yeah, but it is there's there's those little moments where everything goes click, like you say, competition day where it's like everything's perfect now and perfectly aligned and then boom, next target, next goal. Mm. It's exactly the same for training, next goal, next target, like what's where do you want to go from here? You know, like where you've you've put all this work in, you've done your twelve week programme for the first three three months of twenty eighteen with more than lifting and uh now moving into summer, let's just learn some crazy skills. That's where I want people to be. Amen. Sounds good. Yeah, so uh, I don't really know if there's anything else. I mean, we, we were going to keep it brief. We just had a bit of a casual chat, really. It's been quite nice, but I'm just thinking about timings and stuff. Yeah, so, no, cool. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to, to sign off there, and uh, thank you for, for allowing me to be part of this, this process, this journey up until this point, and... Uh, that's Look all right, mate. And like I say, it's not really the end. We're not really saying goodbye to Chris. We're just saying, see you in three weeks rather than see you next week. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't think I can keep up with a three-week schedule. Uh, so good luck with that. But uh, yeah, I look yeah. forward to hearing how it goes. I'm, I'm excited. I've already got a couple recorded and uh, ready to go. But this one was more important. I had to get this one out first. So everyone knows what's happening. 
and uh, Chris gets back in the fucking hot seat with me. Absolutely. Oh, I'm nervous about the other ones now. <laughs> nah, man, they're going to be cracking. I've always enjoyed listening to your solo shows when you've done them. So, uh, yeah, I think you're going to be all right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we do get into a lot of good stuff, so it is going to be great. It's just different in it. So I'm yeah. nervous because I know and you don't yet. <laughs> <laughs> Change is good, my friend. Change is normally always good. All right, well, let's rapidly wrap it up then. It's going to be the last rock, paper, scissors for a while. Ready? After three, four. I'm um, scissors. I didn't really give you much of a warning. Ready? Three, you didn't give me two, a count for yeah. a start. <laughs> I know, I got stuck on three. I was like, confused. Right, so three, two, one, scissors. Scissors. Double scissors. Oh, Double man. scissors. Just as bloody always. Right, after three, one, two, three, rock. rock. You. Oh, trying, I'm trying yeah. to compose myself. I bet people are going to miss now. this, aren't they? Right, I'll do scissors and you do rock. Okay? After three, right. one, two, three, paper. Scissors. <laughs> oh, you... <laughs> All right, well, Chris, I think it's only fitting really that you do the outro in it for the last, for the, for, for the while. Ah, uh, emotional. Emotional. Okay, guys, well, um, yeah, thank you for tuning in today. Uh, as Reese has said, this is my last episode in terms of being a regular contributor so it's been a pleasure speaking to you all and uh, yeah look forward to hearing what Reese has got planned and obviously look forward to coming back on as a guest in the future but until then if you like what you've heard today or across the show at all please do subscribe over at iTunes rate review leave nice pleasant messages and comments and likes and shares on whatever platform you're listening to it on and uh, yeah tell all your friends because it's awesome and Reese is cool and this is going <laughs> to continue to be reasons. a fantastic show <laughs> <laughs> They're two great reasons. Reese Absolutely. is cool and fun, <laughs> whatever yeah. you said. <laughs> and uh, if you want to keep up to date with any other information, head over to morethanlifting.com. Follow Reese on social media as More Than Lifting. If you want to find out what I'm up to, social media Sexy as coachstatch or coachstatch.com. And uh, yeah, that's, that's all she wrote, I think. All right, yeah, mate. Well, uh, I'll catch you soon anyway. Otherwise, have a bad, bad, bad. See you later, man. It's been emotional.